In this tutorial, I provide an orientation to working with the written tutorials. So here's an example of a written tutorial that I've created. And so in this written tutorial, it's called an in gentle introduction to R. And for each of the written tutorials, I created them in something that's called R Markdown, which you can actually do within R Studio. And so it provide, produces these really nice typeset documents here, as well as you can do inline text and things or inline code or script that you write as well as automatically update and run the different functions or script or code that you write here, um, as well as write typical type of prose or narr narration um, around the different script that you're using. And so when you first see this, this might look a little bit unfamiliar with you, uh, unfamiliar to you, but here's generally how they're formatted and how it works. So typically I start out with something like this, that is the functions and packages introduced in the tutorial. And this just lists the different functions that are going to be covered as well as their associated package. Now, when you come down here, you'll see the narration in which I just provide some background information and so forth. But anything you see that has a gray background here, this is actually something you're gonna type direct, that is actually something you would type directly into either your console in RStudio or into your script editor, or in other words, your RScript file. And anything you see with a double hashtag here, or double pound sign, this is the output from that. So for instance, if we do the basic calculation of three plus two, and we click run or in R, we will get here the output. And this is what you would see appear in the console here. So just to show you this, if I'm, I'm over here in R Studio now in the console, if I do three plus two, and actually I'll make it look exactly the same by adding spaces there, three plus two, and I hit enter or return, and here I get that same output that you see here, okay? Now, the single hashtag is not to be confused, or the double hashtag is not to be confused with the single hashtag. The single hashtag, so if you scroll all the way down here, this is what we use to make annotations here, okay? So this is going to be a little bit different, and you'll see this appears with a gray background here, okay? So this is just saying that here I've made this note here that's explaining what I'm doing in this particular instance, okay? All right, the next thing I'm gonna show you is how I think it's best to work from these different written tutorials, and that is to actually open a new file and specifically an R script file, or in other words, a script editor file here. So you get a file, new file, R script, and you see a new window appear here I'm going to save this as test, which will override an existing file that I already have here. That's okay. It's just kind of my um, catch-all for for saving works uh, for saving things as part of these tutorials. So I'm just going to call it test. The file extension is .r. That's a capital R there, which means it's a R script file. So click save. Yes, it already exists. Yes. And so that's saved there to my working directory. Okay, and if you have questions about a working directory, check out the, the tutorial that's called setting a working directory in R. Okay, so if I wanna follow along with this written tutorial, what I can do is right here in my script editor, I could do three, oops, three plus two. And then I could either hover my cur cursor next to the line, or I could highlight this and here's the run button here. So I can do run, or I can do a control enter, or if you're on a Mac, a command enter. So do control enter here, and you'll see I create the same thing down here. And this just keeps a paper trail here. This is what I really recommend you do, is that you work from a script editor or an R script file when you are following along with these written tutorials, okay? So that's the basic gist there, is that you are working along through these and you follow along, read to understand what's going on here. And anything with the gray background is gonna be something you would actually input directly into your R script editor here, okay? And so this is essentially a very basic orientation to how to actually read these. People are gonna have different preferences as to whether they prefer to work just from the written documents here. And it's usually good to get kind of used to this because this is typically how if you need help with R online, it's most things are in writing as opposed to videos. And so uh, some people would prefer to read through the written document. Some people would prefer videos that show how to build the, the script from scratch. It's really up to you. And some people prefer both. Some people like to watch the video first, 
which is going to be a little bit more general, not have as much specificity, and then dive into the written tutorials, which tend to be much more lengthy and have uh, more information and more ways of doing things than what the video tutorial would actually show. So this has been a basic orientation to how to work with the written tutorials. Thank you.